Hi, bitches and girls. It is Melissa Q. Welcome back. If you are new, what's up? Welcome. I hope you guys hit that subscribe button. And as a matter of fact, go ahead and hit it ahead of time. I'm just going to tell you, you're going to have a good time here. Okay. But go ahead. I can wait. We would love to have you over here at the channel. Yes. And if you're an OG, what's up? Y'all know what we're about to get into. We about to go in. Okay. Let me just say I am high porosity. I have high porosity hair. It is fine. It is thin. If you want to check out any of my reviews, I do have a review playlist and I also have a natural hair playlist where I do wash and goes where I talk about my favorites I talk about my top five yes you can check that out over here but today we are talking about what ruined my natural hair and like things that can ruin high porosity hair so let's just jump right in okay so the first thing I told you that really like was the culprit of my wash and go like hellacious expeditions and shenanigans were wash and goes yes and the reason why the wash and go is so i know i got some comments in my last video that that is kind of like across the board in terms of stretched hair and it is true because it is more difficult for sebum to travel down the strand of a curl or a spiral than a straight strand so it's totally true and yes that's kind of like across the board but I feel like it's even worse for high porosity hair and the reason is because we have high porosity hair we have dry hair it it does not hold the moisture and we have to lock it down it is I feel like it is more susceptible is more susceptible to breakage which does not cause our hair to grow and wash and goes it can uh, it can just go so bad so quickly one of the characteristics of dry hair it that it, it likes to tangle so one of the symptoms one of the characteristics of high porosity hair is that it can be not only dry but it tangles very easily and if our hair tangles very easily we have to use a lot of manipulation we have to manipulate our hair a whole lot and because it tangles wash and goes are no bueno para me okay they're not good for us because um, at least for me, I'm, I saw a lot of high porosity girls. It was just like, I was like, the floodgates would just open. Open the floodgates of heaven. Yes, the floodgates opened up when I said wash and goes with a devil. Okay, if glycerin is the devil, wash and goes is a horse that the devil rode on. Okay, I'm just saying it is so bad. And I'm not saying you can never wear a wash and go, but to wear them back and back to back back that was no bueno para me it was not good for me so um yeah wash and goes and i'm not going to just keep them in frequently now one of the things that i was doing was doing a wash and go on uh, day one day two on day two or three i would turn that wash and go into a twist out and wear that twist out for like a week a week and a half and i would moisturize and seal every single night and yes i did retwist now retwisting with my fine thin hair and it being high porosity was not a big deal just because i'm only using i don't have more than eight plaits or twist in my hair whether it's a twist out or a braid out just because i want volume and the bigger or the larger the twist or the larger the section that you use the more volume you're going to have the smaller it's going to be more defined but you're not going to have a, as much volume so i will say wash and goes <sighs> yes tangles yes Let's talk about moisture and attacking the things that we normally do to our hair and then we will talk about things to regrow it okay so the first thing is water bottle Okay, you got to have a water bottle because our hair, the the moisture escapes so quickly. You need a water bottle. This is your weapon against dry hair. You got to have this and you got to have a really good oil or butter. Our hair loves oils and butters after locking that in. And lock method, I just found, found is an optimal method for me in terms of growing my hair just because the liquid and then locking the uh, liquid with an oil or a moisturizer is going to make that moisture stay where I want it. It's not going to stay there all the time is because 
although you're using a liquid and then sealing it with an oil you know oils rub against royal oils absorb so you do have to constantly add and that's why i tend to shampoo or co I, I tend to like really cleanse i use a cleansing conditioner instead of using a co-wash because a product buildup because i do have to use oils and butters and uh, those type of items very frequently product buildup can happen really quickly so i will say that a spray bottle is a must because especially even when you are applying your product our hair tends to get dry really quick by the time I've gotten to, through this section this section is already dry so I have to re-wet a lot so a spray bottle is optimal in reconstructing and getting your hair back to where it needs to be which is what currently I'm doing so I keep around this all the time even when I am trying to redamp my hair or reset a style I will go in with water and by the way don't feel like you always have to go in with products all the time because water will reactivate the product if you have a good amount of products already in your hair just go in with some water it will reactivate the product and then you can just go and seal it with an oil just to lock in what you have now I will give this tip if you don't go in and reseal with an oil or a butter, you're just putting on water and it's just going to cause frizz and you're not going to be happy because it is not locking in the moisture. You have to go back in with the butter to lock in that moisture. So that's why I really like very light thin oils because I know that I'm constantly using it and it I won't get product buildup as bad and it won't weigh my hair down. Okay. So the next item is you want a really good moisturizer and the reason why I'm showing you this in this size is because you want a moisturizer that you can take with you throughout the day that if you feel your hair dry or brittle because sometimes especially going into the fall and winter our hair in drier climates it's going to get dry really quick. You want something that you can reapply and there have been times where I'm somewhere and I want to retwist my hair. I will twist it up. I will braid it up, but I need some moisturization. The Oyen ha uh, Hair Dude, this is a, a daily hair quenching lotion. This is really great because I think the second ingredient in here is castor oil. The first ingredient is water. So it not only packs a punch, but it's kind of like a two in one for me. So I only have to take this. I don't have to seal, you know, moisturize and seal. I can just use this and it's going to do both. You can get it in this size. And then what I would re recommend is getting the larger size and just refilling the small one. So I really do enjoy this. I've had this for years. I've had this at least like two years, two or three years. So um, this size, by the way, I really do enjoy this product. And you can don't be afraid to use like your own concoction in a small bottle or get a travel size from the drugstore and put your own moisturizer in it. But definitely have something that you can moisturize and maybe like a two in one like this where you don't have to seal or you're taking too many products. You can take this with you. Get a really good detangling conditioner. Now, at first I was not using those. I was using, you can do two things, okay? You can do your detangling after your hair has penetrated. That way your hair is going to have a lot of slip. That's why I go with a lot of deep conditioners that have a ton of slip. I do like thick hair mask and everything, but I do like to saturate it with water so I can detangle and make sure I'm detangling in the shower. And I want to use very light hands. If you're heavy handed, I highly recommend maybe even finger detangling over um, using a comb because finger detangling is a lot gentler. Uh, more gentle than you going in with a comb and you're combing your hair and having a heavy hand when you do it under the water it's actually slip slipping through your fingers so that is a great way to like lower the tension on your hair in terms of hair manipulation the next thing i would say is to make sure that you have a good conditioner with slip vo5 is super duper cheap and like the vo5 moisture milks are amazing they are curly girl friendly and you can also uh, detangle with those those have amazing they're super duper watery and those are great as well you want things that are watery and very light to 
if you're high porosity, you want very, I would say very light of everything just because product buildup is an issue for us. So yeah, VO5, if you want a list of some great detangling conditioners, comment down below and let me know and I can make that video for you guys. Okay, so finally, let's go into the growth kind of state. First of all, moisturizing and sealing is something that I'm just knowing that I'm going to have to do just because if it, if it, if your hair starts to change and you notice that something worked, go back to it. Okay. I used to moisturize and seal and retwist every night after a wash out, um, after a twist out or a braid out, I would go and moisturize and seal and then retwist the hair. And that keeps it from being having friction and rubbing up against things. And it redefines the curl. So I know a lot of people are like, oh, your hair is gorgeous. Uh, it's really nice. It was because that I was retwisting it every night. And don't think uh, it was a super duper fast um, routine. Once I get back into the routine, uh, right now I have twisted my hair under here and I'm letting it dry just because I think I want to try a wig but once I do my twist out and braid outs I definitely will come back and do a routine for you guys but that's pretty much what I have to say in terms of moisturizing and sealing do it every night and when I say moisturize and seal I can use something like this to moisturize and seal or I can use a moisturizer and then make sure if you don't want product build up on the roots definitely always moisturize and seal your ends because that is the part that's always touching against like materials and up against your skin and everything you definitely because those are the oldest parts of your hair you definitely want to moisturize and seal at least that let's talk about hair growth like I said I did have a brand uh, I don't think I have it with me but I do have a couple of castor oils. Maybe I should, I'll have show you guys my castor oil collection because I do have a few. If you guys want to see some different types of castor oil, let me know that in the comment section if you want it. But I would say my main castor oil and a lot of my products that contain castor oil, like the Oyen hairdo contains castor oil. Maybe we can do like things that contain castor oil for hair growth because that is a big factor. That one is proven to help with hair growth but this is the nioxin hair booster i wanted to show you this because they do have something that's a hair therapy but this is the hair booster this is a targeted technology for areas of advanced thin looking hair so it does thicken the hair i use this after elijah when my hair fell out around the perimeters of my hair and it really really stimulated the growth now this is a growth serum and I, pref I really encourage you to use this in your curly hair state. If you are wearing your hair uh, straight, this, will will, this one will revert your hair back just because it is very wet. It is a very wet consistency. I don't know. I can let you see it. Um, but it's like a serum. Okay. So basically what I would do, I can move this back a little bit. I would take this and put it on my edges and just massage it there i know i'm showing y'all a little bit too much but so it says use twice daily distribute with fingertips from the root to the tips of areas of advanced thinning of the hair along the hairline apply hair booster prior to applying your niacin scalp treatment so there is a scalp treatment but I love the hair booster. And that is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Comment down below. Let me know if you have any tips on hair growth and any of the things that you have struggled with your high porosity hair or your hair in general. Uh, your hair can be naturally straight. It can be curly. It can be low porosity. Comment down below. Let me know your hair struggles and maybe we can attack those in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see beautiful you in the next video.